See, chapter 2 deals about uh, electro-pneumatic. Already you know pneumatic. So pneumatic, without any electrical components, we operated the pneumatic circuit for many applications. So we used the cylinder, we used the switches, we used anti-gate, we used the R gate, we used the tank delay wall, we used the pressure sequence wall, uh, we used the single acting cylinder, we used the double acting cylinder in pneumatic circuit design. Right? So many components you can eliminate when you are going to use the electro pneumatic. That's what integration of pneumatic and electrical technologies has played important role in pneumatic design. So nowadays in modern industries, in digital factories, we are not using pneumatics alone. We are using some electrical components to control the pneumatic uh, components. So that's what this topic deals about electro -pneumatic. Understand? electro means what? It's a pneumatic and a electrical technologies. You are operating the pneumatic uh, components by using electrical switches or by using some electrical principles. So that's what this uh, chapter uh, deals. See, what are the important roles we can perform using the electrical components? One is sensing information and another one is processing information. What is meant by sensing information? See, you are keeping one double acting cylinder or single acting cylinder. So how much the piston has moved. If you want to find out, you can use some proximity switch or you can use some sensor to find the movement of that uh, double acting cylinder or a single acting cylinder. Understand? See, uh, if you want to find the position of that piston, whether the position of the piston is here or whether the position of the piston is here, or the position of the piston is here, if you want to find, you can place one sensor here or bunch of sensors here and then based on this moment this one will give the information based on that you can find out whether it is in extreme uh, forward direction or extreme reverse direction you can find out using some proximity switches okay uh, so that's what sensing information you can perform and not only that the processing information what is meant by processing information you are going to process the pneumatic air from one place to another place that's what the directional control ball you use that's what the input devices you used in pneumatic. So many components you used, correct? Processing. See the anti-gate. Anti-gate, what you did? What you did in uh, pneumatic? To do the anti-gate. You have to give the two signals and you are, you are having one special type of valve which is called a, what? Which valve? Dual pressure valve. Which is called a dual pressure valve. If you are giving the two, two signal to the dual pressure valve, then only it will give. So you need not to have this type of undead, undegate processing in electron pneumatic. What you will do? You can have the two switches. If you are operating the two switches, then only the flow will go to the solenoid operated valve. Already solenoid operated valve is energized by using a pneumatic. If you are operating these two switches, then only it will open, then the air will flow. You need not to have any mechanical type of uh, wall like dual pressure wall, shuttle wall, check wall, you need not to have. Instead of that, you are keeping some electrical buttons, electrical signals. Electrical button, if you are operating, two buttons will be there. If you are operating both the buttons, then only the signal will go to the solenoid operated valve and then after that, the directional control valve. Solenoid operated <coughs> directional control valve will allow the air to flow to the uh, cylinder. So, if you are doing like that, then anti-gate logic will be satisfied. So same way you can do the R gate logic, if you are pressing any one of the switches, then the electrical signal will go to the solenoid operated directional control valve, then solenoid operated directional control valve will open, then air will flow. If you are operating like that, then R, R gate logic will be satisfied. That means shuttle valve uh, logic will be satisfied. That's why you can do the processing information by using the electrical signals. Okay. So sensing information you can perform, processing information you can perform. So these are all the important roles by electrical components. See, what are the main components in electro-pneumatic circuit? There is a switch, the switch means electrical switch. So you can give input uh, to the circuit by using switches. And there will be relay, so the relay means you know, Yes. If you want to cut or if you want to open, so you can use the relay. Okay, the relay is also one of the safety, safety device. So if you are going to press one switch, it will go to the relay, then relay will be closed. If you are closing the relay, then only this, 
the signal will go to the solenoid operated part. Okay. So this uh, relay, uh, which is very useful in electrical pneumatic circuit. So the relay is one of the important components in electrical pneumatic circuit. See the solenoid operated part. You know solenoid principle. So there will be a plunger. If you are going to give some volt, 24 volt, assume 24 volt you are giving. The plunger is the spring loaded. Already we discussed in the chapter three. Correct. So there is a spring loaded, and then if you are giving 24 volt, the spring loaded plunger will have the movement. The spool is attached in the electromagnetic uh, what, uh, solenoid operated valves. The spool will get the moment if you are energizing the plunger. Okay. So that's why solenoid operated valve. The proximity uh, switches it is used to find where the position of the piston. Then indicator and distributor plate. So this one, if uh, uh, electrical signal is going, there will be some LED. The LED will glow. Then you can identify the, the signal is uh, passing from one place to another place. And also something distributed, so in between that if you want to find out, so you can, you are keeping some uh, uh, indicator devices, so you can find out whether the uh, signal is distributing to all the circuits or not, that you can find out, okay. So these are all electrical indicators. And then cylinder, so what we used in the pneumatic, the same cylinders we are using, double acting cylinder and single acting cylinder. The service unit with on off valve, see that, this is called service unit. Service unit with on off valve, this is on off valve, this is service unit. So what are the service units? Filter, regulator, lubricators are the service units. Filter means if you want to remove the unwanted particles from the air, you are using a filter. The filter will remove the dust particles or unwanted particles uh, uh, which is coming with the uh, air. Okay, we need pure air. So that's why we are removing all unwanted particles using this uh, filter. The regulator means you are regulating the pressure. So the pressure which is coming from the cylinder will be enormous. If you want to reduce the pressure or if you want to use only 6 bar, if you want to use only 8 bar, then you can use the regulator. So you are regulating the pressure here. Then lubricator unit. Lubricator unit means what? See, the due to friction, due to friction, wear and tear will happen in the cylinders, in the valves. If you want to avoid the lubricator, so automatic lubrication. Okay? So you are including in the uh, pneumatic. If you are using the lubricator, then you will get the smooth movement of the components, smooth movement of the component part. Okay, so then we can avoid the uh, friction, we can avoid the wear and tear. So the life will be improved and also you will get the smooth run of uh, uh, pneumatic components. That's why we are using the lubricator. So this is the whole unit. Okay, so this unit is required uh, after your compressor. So the compressor is there and then after that you have to do the filter lubricator, uh, filter regulator lubricator unit. This is uh, generally called as FRL unit, okay, which is called as FRL. F means filter, R means regulator, L means lubricator, FRL unit. The FRL unit symbol is this and then after that you are having one 3 by 2 wall which is used as a switch. The whole unit you can say service unit with on off wall. This is required in all electro-pneumatic circuit. When you are going to draw the electro-pneumatic circuit, first you have to use this. Okay? You have to use this means, this is called FRL unit, this service unit is required for all the circuits. And also, you need 3 by 2 switch. So this is the common unit for all electro-pneumatic circuits. So you have to. So this output it is going to that. Uh, directional control valve. That directional control valve, all logic you are using uh, in the electrical uh, uh, board and then after that you are going to give to the solenoid operated uh, directional control valve. So all the logic and then after that solenoid operated directional control valve will open. This air will go through the directional control valve to the cylinder. So this service unit is a common uh, component for all uh, electro-pneumatic circuits. Okay. And another one is Solenoid operated 3 by 2 and 5 by 2. So this is very very important for all the circuit directional control valve is required based on the cylinder. If you are using single acting cylinder, what type of directional control valve is required? If you are using single acting cylinder. Single acting cylinder, which valve is required? 3 by 2. 3 by 2 is enough. 3 by 2 is enough because we are not giving any signal for the return stroke. Automatically it will return. When you are going to push the piston, it will get forward direction. If you cut the signal, automatically it will return. When you are using the single acting cylinder, you are using the 3 by 2 cylinder operated part. If you are using the double acting cylinder, which one is required? 5 by 2 valve is required. In 5 by 2 also, there are two types. One is 
single ended and the other one is double ended. Suppose in the extension position, it has to stay some, some more time, then you have to go for the double ended. Okay? So to make a perfect control, you are going for the double ended. Or otherwise, once it is extended, then automatically if you want to uh, make it the return stroke, then you can go for the single ended 5 by 2 1. So that's what there are two types. Solenoid operated 3 by 2, 5 by 2 1, single ended. Then solenoid operated uh, uh, 3 by 2 and 5 by 2, double ended. Okay, I think I don't think uh, this is required for because we are using only uh, for single acting cylinder. This double ended is not required. You can leave. So only you use this uh, double ended uh, uh, 5 by 2 valve. See, double ended 5 by 2 valve means once it is extended, then for the return stroke. If you are energizing this solenoid, it will go for the forward direction. If you energize this solenoid, it will come for the reverse stroke. Okay, this is like a pilot operated. What you did in the pneumatic, what pilot operated, if you are giving the air this direction, what will happen? It will get the forward direction. If you are giving this direction, it will get the reverse direction. Instead of giving a air, the pilot operated means you are giving, you are operating by using the pneumatic air, which may be processed, it may be through and gate or R gate, through some switches, it is processed and then after that you are giving to the 5 by 2 one. But here, you are not giving through pilot operated, you are giving through the solenoid. That means you are giving the electrical signal to the solenoid this end. If you are giving this end, it will get the forward stroke. If you are giving this end, it will get the reverse stroke. That's what double ended solenoid operated 5 by 2 1. Solenoid operated, solenoid operated 5 by 2 bar <coughs> double ended. So this one is solenoid operated single ended 3 by 2 and 5 by 2 bar spring return. This is spring return. The, the meaning of this is spring return. We are giving the signal for only forward stroke, the return stroke will happen automatically because of spring return. Okay? So these are all the symbols. Service is symbol, uh, are you able to understand? Service symbol, service unit. Service unit means it contains a FR unit and one switch. So this is the common symbol for all the electronomatic circuits. Okay? And then after that, after this, it will go to the 5 way operated or 3 way operated one based on the uh, pneumatic cylinder. So pneumatic cylinder you are giving and then you are, give, uh, you are giving to the uh, solenoid operated bulb. So that's all in the electronumeric circuit. So when you are going to do the electrical circuit, see, there are two circuits in the electronumeric. You have to draw. If this type of person is coming in your examination, you have to draw the two circuits. One is electronumeric circuit and another one is electrical connection circuit. That is called, commonly called as electrical circuit. Okay. You have to draw the electronumeric circuit initially. For electronumeric circuit, these are all the symbols main, main important symbols. Okay. For electrical circuit, the connection circuit, so I am going to give some of the symbols for the electrical circuit. So you are going to use the electrical circuit to complete the uh, circuit design, or for complete uh, circuit design for one application. See, this is important, once again I am summarizing. Uh, pneumatic and the electrical components are playing a vital role in uh, many of the electronumeric circuits. Why we are going for the electronumeric? To do the sensing information and to do the processing. And there are the main components in electronumeric, you see there, that there is a switch, switch means it is electrical switch, then relay, solenoid operated ball, proximity switches, indicator, cylinder, service unit and manifold, so these are all main components involved in electronumeric circuit. And there are two circuits you have to draw. If there is a question in examination, you have to draw the two circuit, one is electronumeric circuit which is not having any electrical connection, okay? So electrical connection, you have to show that uh, different circuit. You have to show in a different circuit, which is called as electrical circuit. That is connection circuit. So you have to draw one electronomatic circuit and one electrical connection circuit. To do the electronomatic circuit, these symbols are very important. I think you know that uh, single acting and double acting cylinder symbols because we did a lot of things in uh, uh, pneumatic chapter one, okay? So uh, double acting cylinder, you know the symbol. Single acting cylinder, you know the symbol. So these symbols are important to complete one electronomatic circuit. So we will see one uh, example. Okay. Now I am going to discuss about the electrical circuit symbols. Electrical circuit symbol means what is the symbol for switch? What is the symbol for relay? What is the symbol for solenoid? How to do that uh, uh, solenoid operated ball by using one relay? So all those things we will see in the electrical symbols. Okay. Finish. So we will see the electrical symbols. Okay. 